Have you guys been in an auto accident? They suck. I have a question for you. Do you want to make a lot of money or get back to work and be happy? If you want a lot of money, you go to a crappy attorney that has a terrible chiropractor. Or if you want to get better, you come to me. Check out this story of a patient that came from Texas. You can see his back pain, his shoulder pain here. He also has tons of sleep issues, vision issues, and depression. We checked his range of motion out. You can see his pain here. This is what whiplash looks like on an x-ray. Check out his treatment. Oh, shit. <laughs> My name is Daniel, I'm 34, and I'm a musician. I got in a, in a car accident in March on St. Patrick's Day. I was just driving like, you know, on a normal road, and the guy, pulled, he saw me from far away. When I got like real close, about like maybe like, I don't know, like 20 feet, he decided to pull out, and it was not enough time to stop. His brakes yeah. slid into his driver's side door and uh, totaled his car. Yeah, as soon as I got out of the car, uh, immediately the left side of my neck, and also like, my shoulder, it felt like I dislocated because I couldn't I couldn't lift my arm like in the in the back portion area. Uh -huh. And also went down like to my lower back, um, the left side. So it was just like the entire left side at like um Gotcha. Tell us about your pains right now. Um my hands, I'm still having trouble with my hands. Uh What's wrong with them? Uh, they just feel kinda 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 especially at the tips, they feel like weaker. Gotcha. You have trouble writing too? Yeah, I can't, I can't really write at all. Like gotcha. It, it's, um, yeah. I can barely hold a pen. Barely hold a pen, gotcha. And then uh, tell us about your neck pain. Uh, my neck is just horrible. All day long, it's, it's causing yeah. me to like try he, to- He says his back hurts more than his neck, but his neck is what? It's a constant, constant. It's, it's just a constant. So thing constant, yeah. yeah, right, gotcha. And your low back, tell us about your low back pain. Um, my lower back is it's really hard to like the beginning of the day when I wake up It's hard to like fully move and stand up mm -hmm. like it takes me longer to get up and then like m Middle of the day it starts getting a little easier and then a little bit after that It starts going you know falling apart again I'm getting a lot of like cramps in my calves and my toes too. They wouldn't take liability until uh, They spoke with their insured person and he like was like avoiding their calls and on top of that, the the adjuster that was assigned to my case, I think she ended up getting fired like throughout my case. So about like two and a half months later, they put someone else new, and she was able to get it done like pretty quickly. But the other person, you couldn't get a hold of her. My my lawyer couldn't get a hold of her. Nobody could get a hold of this person. Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? Insurance companies are in the in the business of keeping their money, not paying out their money. Yeah. If you ever are coming to me and you have an auto accident, make sure you come in soon. Make sure you call me and ask me about some of the legalities of this stuff. I've been doing it forever, I've been 27 years. And uh, there's a lot of stuff you guys don't know. If you want to get an attorney, you get an attorney, that's fine. But if you don't want to get an attorney, call me and let me help you through the, be the beginning stuff because you get taken like this. Yeah. He, wrote, he drove a, a red car and now he's going to get it taken out of a settlement. I'm not really sleeping full nights. Uh, I'm waking up in the middle of the night. How much pain there, sir, on your back? A lot. A lot? I'd scale yeah. of 1 to 10, what is that? Like an 8. 8. Back like this, yeah. sir? How much pain there? Uh, it's not as much, about two or three. Two or three, with your head, look at the floor, please. How about that? Not much, about two or three. Look at the ceiling, please. Oh, it's a little bit more. And you can see how tough it is for him to go back like that? Now squat, please. Okay. How much pain in your back there? Oh, a lot. How That's much? Like eight. Why four months later? Um, well, I was living in Texas when it first happened. Gotcha. And uh, What'd you do for treatment so far then? I went to this place in Austin. It was supposed to be a chiropractor, but uh, I never saw the chiropractor. They just had me do like physical training on like a big medicine ball. How'd you find this chiropractor? Uh, through the attorney. Attorney? Yeah. So the attorney sent you to a chiropractor that never ever saw you? Yeah. Gotcha. But you did some medicine ball stuff and some electric stim probably. Yeah. And some heat probably on your back, right? Yeah. And it was like a machine that like I was on for like five minutes. So Stretched just, you a little bit? I don't know. I oh, rolled on your back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't just go to any chiropractor, guys, because most of them are not into fixing you. They're into running the bill up. His x-rays, really bad reverse curve, lots of atlas wear, big old noggin on the back of his head. He's had a problem with posture for a lot of years. I just found out his vision is not very good. We have a four millimeter right imbalance, occiput tilt, and scoliosis. Here we have a right short leg and constipation. Here we have inverted atlas, pretty bad one, whiplash reversal of the upper neck and an extended huge EOP. We have forward antalgia, bad posture, and confirmation of that constipation. I'm gonna get you adjusted right now. Okay. Just do the best you can to just lay here and uh, we're gonna go a nice simple adjustment on you. Never been adjusted before, guys. You're fine, just go. 
Yeah, that was good. Oh, shit. <laughs> Excuse my language. Oh. <laughs> Painful a little bit too, huh? Or a lot? Just a little bit. There's like a spot in the back of my head that I kind of push and there's like a, it's like a pop. Like, yeah, yeah. like in the, I guess like the crown of the head. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of like loosens the pressure. Yeah, just let this relax. Yeah, you're doing fine. That was amazing. <laughs> Why was that one amazing? The other one was so scary. Because the first time I didn't know that was possible. Yeah, and the second one now it feels. And really the second good. one I was like, okay, like that. The first one was kind of scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. We like to help our patients up on the first adjustment. They're gonna be a little lightheaded because we're adjusting their brainstem. So I'm telling our patient not to twist and turn, or he will undo my work. Let's check out how his first treatment is. I definitely feel... No twist or turning. No okay. twist or turning. Yeah, I definitely feel different. Uh, a little lightheaded. My head just feels a lot lighter. Usually I always have to like constantly, like I said, in the back of my head, I do this like, little thing where I, I push it and it pops like almost like my, my skull. Like anybody I show, they're like, oh, what is that? Yeah. And it's like, it just, it's just... I don't know how to explain it, but... Um, You're going to stop that now, by the way. Don't do it anymore. Okay. I don't think I need to. Yeah, it feels completely... Different, right? Different, yeah. Yeah. Um, After our first treatment, we always want to recalibrate the spine. What does that mean? That means adjust the neck and let the neck spread through the whole body with this walking. Still, like, a little dizzy. Oh, sorry. That's Fair fine. enough. That's fine. No, dizzy's fine. Uh, the reason dizzy is good, guys, is because when you're dizzy, it tells me I'm affecting your brain stem. Remember I talked about rebooting your brain? Yeah. So I rebooted your brain, so it's like your brain's kind of just coming online again. How much pain in your back? That was eight a minute ago. Uh, is it's, it eight still? It's going to be an eight. It, it's still close, yeah. Okay. Um, fine. Seven, whatever. Yeah. Back like this, then? Yeah, I don't really feel much, like... You know. You had no pain there before, right? Yeah. But yeah. the range of motion, you said it was stuck. Yeah. Does it feel any different in range of motion? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. My neck doesn't feel as heavy. Good. Like I said, because that was the thing that was really bothering me, especially when I looked down and looked up, was my neck just felt... Let's try it again. Yeah. Look down, please. How's that? Feels fine. Look at the ceiling, please. Yeah, it feels a lot better. A lot better? Gotcha. Yeah. And now the big one is squat, guys. Squat. Yeah. Okay. Um, that felt actually a lot easier. What did you think of your first time? Uh, it's not as scary as I thought. <laughs> you know, I, I seen videos and all that. I was like, Ugh. Are you watching my videos now, last night? Yeah, I've seen some of your videos. And, okay. and in the past, like, you know, even like on Instagram, like things would pop up. My kids are like really into like, oh, it's so satisfying. So they watch, watch all yeah. these cracks, yeah. And it always like, yeah, that, that kind of scared me. Yeah, yeah. Well, you'll be one of those not, guys. Not your bad. sons will be watching you in the future. Yeah, it's not as bad. Say bye, Daniel. Daniel, we had our first adjustment yesterday, and why don't you just give us, uh, he went to Disneyland, by the way, and went on every ride twice. And so uh, I'm kind of jealous, but he's also very exhausted. He just got back late last night. So he didn't do pretty much anything I told him to do, but he did have some changes. Why don't you tell us what those changes were? I got good, a good night's good, sleep. Good, 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 good. Um, I noticed that uh, usually like throughout the day, um, I'm always like trying to crack my neck, and I'm always like just trying to rotate it to, to get it to feel better. I didn't do that at all yesterday. Um, I had a little bit of stiffness, stiffness to my right side. That's fair enough. Um, but, but there was it, a change. It, it, yeah, but it wasn't like stiffness from like my normal, you know, gotcha. it was just from, I think I tensed up at first. From Absolutely. That Absolutely. first one. Yeah. Uh, tell us about the vision. You took your contact out of your eye. What about that? Yeah, so I took my, my contact was getting dry. So I took it out of my eye. And usually like when I take one contact out, um, I can't see anything like at all like not even like shapes like it just even with just one contact it's horrible but uh i took it out and i had it out for probably like six hours and i was able to see everything throughout the park i just put it back in right before the fireworks mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just because i was like i want to see you know yeah the detail, detail. yeah but i but was there was in, a difference in yeah vision, in, in the vision yeah, yeah yeah right on yeah. his daughter's here why is your daughter here she wants to hear it crack <laughs> yeah she's into the uh listening the what do you call it the again satisfying satisfying the crack. hashtag satisfying so uh she's here to listen in she's gonna videotape he's gonna post this this uh adjustment on his instagram it'll be on mine too so check that out uh let's get started let's get okay. work done yeah. make it a little closer so you can hear oh <laughs> shit <laughs> That's why it's stiff. Yeah. Because you're supposed to ice. Let's go. Mm. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Say goodbye to your fans. <laughs>